Hola chicos, ¿nos vamos a conectar en un minuto? Let's be ready. Hola. Hello, guys. Hello, good night. Good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes, me, yes. yes. Excellent, perfect. So we're going to start here. I'm glad that you can hear me, right? We're going to start with our class. Let's start with the attendance. <clears throat> okay, Esmeralda, thank you very much. Now, let's go ahead and continue with today's class. Right. Let's see here. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Presente. Brenda Yamilet Estrada Torres. Presente, teacher. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Aide de la Paz. Jair Adonis Mártir Molina. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente, teacher. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Juana. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Ay, Karen. Ay, teacher. Kate Carolina Parada Trejo. Presente. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. 
Presente, teacher. Miran Arely Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente, teacher. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Okay, now we're going to continue here, right? With the class. Tell me, okay, I have another message. Verónica presente. Sí, ahí le puse Verónica. <laughs> ahí le puse, no se preocupe. Can you see my computer? ¿Pueden ver mi computadora, chicos? Yes, miss. Excellent, very good. Now that you can see my computer, right? We are going to start with class number 11. Right, vamos con la clase número 11. And in this class, guys, we, what we're going to do is that we're going to practice first. We're going to do a brief practice on what we did last Friday, right? Vamos a hacer una práctica rapidita de no más de 10 minutos de lo que vimos la semana pasada, del viernes específicamente. Luego continuamos con el presente continuo, ¿ok? Present continuum for future events and also for present events, both. Now, let's start. We have here, right, the first activity. It's months of the year. Pronunciation only. Pronunciation only. Now, Anna, can you please read the first six months of the year? January, February, March, April, May, June. June, very good, thank you. Karen, can you please read the second semester of the year? Uh, July, August, September, October, November, December. December, very good. November and December, excellent job. Right, we have the months of the year. Does anybody have a question about this? ¿Hay alguien que tenga alguna pregunta o algún inconveniente con esta pronunciación? El significado creo que ya lo conocemos, right? Pero la pronunciación tal vez nos, nos haga falta. ¿Todo bien? Sí? Ok, very good. So, we're going to continue, right? We're going to continue with, right? Cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. We have the cardinal numbers, we remember them. They are very easy, right? Los números cardinales son bien fáciles, ya nos conocemos, right? We go from one to 20, right? But here we're gonna pay attention to the ordinal numbers, ordinal numbers. So I would like to have the help of, let me see, Fatima Joana. Can you please tell us the first five numbers? Okay, teacher. Uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Fifth, very good. Thank you so much, Fatima. Daniela, can you continue and tell us the next five? Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Ten. Very well. Thank you so much, Daniela. Sandra, can you tell us the next five numbers? Eleven. Eleven. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. 15, okay. Now repeat, 13. 13. 14. 14. 15. 15. Very good, thank you. Brenda, can you tell me the last five? 
Yes, teacher. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. 20. 20. Okay, 20th or 20th. Very good. So we have there the pronunciation of these numbers. Do you have a question about this? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de los, de los números? ¿No? Estamos repasando yeah, por si alguien tiene una I have one. When okay. you are working with addition and you say, for example, uh, uh, you have two cats and two more. Uh, how many are in all? Uh, four. Those numbers, do I have to add? Add the th or only the number? For, for what purpose? I'm sorry. Para qué propósito? When we are when for example, if you are doing an addition. If I am doing an, an addition. Una edición de qué? No lo entendí. Me perdí. Cuando usted está haciendo una suma. Ah. An Okay, when you're doing an addition, it you use cardinal numbers. If you are doing an addition, one plus one is two. Two plus three is five. Mm -hmm. no. are, oh, these letters you only have in dates. In... Only, only when we're saying like, this will be translated into Spanish, Anna. Like primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, vigésimo. Y esos son, eh, tienen la misma función que tienen en español. Entonces, para cuando hacemos una sumatoria, eh, no, no los utilizamos. Porque estamos haciendo, los, la sumatoria la hacemos con números cardinales, hasta donde tengo entendido. <laughs> I was confused okay. because of the date. Only that thing. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But yes, in the date, yes, we use it. We use it, for example, when we have, I don't know, no sé quiénes serán teachers acá, pero para los que son teachers, when we have the honor roll of students, cuando tenemos a los estudiantes brillantes, right, we have the honor roll. So we have the first student, the second student, the third student, we use it for that too, to give numbers, right, to assign numbers, right? We we'll give it for that. Thank you so much, Anna. That's an interesting question. Muy bien. What else? What else do you have? ¿Qué más tenemos? ¿Otra pregunta? ¿Acerca de los números? No, nadie. Okay. So if we don't have any other question, we continue. Last week also, we work with this. Let me see. We work with this, right? Do you remember? We have the special day plus the verb to be plus on plus month plus date, right? This is the structure. We're just making a review. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Esta vez lo voy a quitar porque se supone que practicaron la formulita. Right? So I'm going to practice here. And Daniela is por qué lo quito. <laughs> okay. So tell me, let's start with Lo tengo you. anotado. Ah, okay. Eso, <laughs> mi amiga. <laughs> Now, tell me here, Fatima. When is cross day? I'm going to put it in the chat. All the questions, I will put them in the chat. Right? So you can see. When is cross day? Oh, that is a good one. Mm -hmm. oh. El día de la cruz. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the cross day is... Uh, is on May, but... Okay, if we know only the month, si sabemos solamente el mes, ¿cómo lo decimos? Uh, the cross days is in May. The 
Okay, cross day is in May. Very good. Who knows the complete date? Mm -hmm. It's on May 3rd. It's on May 3rd. Very good. Cross day is on May 3rd. Very good. Tell me, please, Karen, when is your mother's birthday? Uh, my mother's birthday uh, is on May 12. 12. Y la mira así. <laughs> it's on May 12. Very good. Marina, tell me, Marina, when is Christmas? Christmas is in. Mm -hmm. Uh, Christmas Day is on December 25. Okay, December 25. Okay, that is a cardinal number. Can you tell me 25 in ordinal number, Marina? 25th? 25th? No, 25th, no. yes. 25th. Excellent, Marina. Very good. Sorry, I come. You just come. Okay, I did. Thank you for coming to the class. Lo bueno es que se pudo conectar. Okay, Daniela. Daniela, tell me, Daniela. ¿Qué otra fecha hay? Déjame pensar. No me acuerdo la fecha. When is New Year's Eve? What is No, New Year's. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is 1st of January. Oh, interesting. No. For example, Christmas Eve is on December 24th, right? Christmas Eve is on December 24th. And Christmas is on December 25th. So when is New Year's Eve? 31. Okay. December. It's on? Uh, it's on is? December 31. December 31. Mm, 31st. 31st. <laughs> exactly. It's on December 31st. Very good. Okay. okay. Eve significa la víspera. Right? Víspera de Navidad, Christmas Eve. Víspera de Año Nuevo, New Year's Eve. Eve. Right? Very good. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, Marina. Now we're going to continue. ¿Tienen preguntas, preguntas acerca de esa, de esa estructura? ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de esa estructura? No? No, teacher. Okay. Solo que se olvida que es en, ¿cómo se llama? En, en ordinal. ordinal numbers, yes. En cardinales, yeah, I know. But we, we can do better, don't worry. Tenemos que seguir practicando, right? Now, we have this and we have some questions, right? First question, who schedules the events at your workplace? And number two, what are some events that are taking place next week? These are the questions that we have, right? For my workplace, right? right. I'm gonna put here, right? Floor schedules the events at my workplace, right? That's her name, Flor, right? So that's the, the answer for question number one. This is for me. Flor schedules the events at my workplace. What is the meaning of schedules? ¿Cómo, cómo funcionaría aquí schedules? ¿Cómo creen que funciona? ¿Cuál sería el significado? The schedules, díganme. 
it means that date in in our for a lot of things at work or mm -hmm. any day. Yes, the schedules would mean here agenda. Agenda. Right. So floor schedules the events at my workplace. Right. And it says number two. What are some events that are taking place? Right, that are taking place next week. Very easy. Some events that are taking place next week are teachers training next week, right? Students last day of classes, right? And the final exam. These are activities for me, right? For my work. What about you? Right? These are my answers. What are your answers? Think about your answers right now. Piensen acerca de sus respuestas. What are your answers? Uh huh. Think about your answers. For for example, to me, this week I will have dates with the parents every day. Uh -huh. At 2 p.m., um, 3 p.m. every day. Okay. okay, very good. But that will be next week. Okay, very good. That will be for the future. What else? What else? So their answer? Ajá. Nadie más con respuesta, solo Ana. Ya le di mis ejemplos acá. Veamos, Karen, yo veo que ya tienes esos ejemplos listos para compartirlos. No, es que ando buscando cómo se dice recursos humanos. Es que iba a decir en my, in my work, eh, uh -huh. recursos humanos, department, schedule the events at my workplace. Ok, very good. Recursos humanos se dice human resources. Ay, que eso se me olvida. Uh -huh. Human. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Human resources. O, más fácil, HR. HR. Solo la H y la R. Usualmente solo decimos en inglés HR. Ya sabemos que son recursos humanos. Okay. Veamos a alguien más. Teresa, what are the answers of your question? ¿Hay de? ¿You ready? Yes. Yeah. Ok. Uh, there are many things I have to do this week. First, mm -hmm. I have to even with other company. Second, I have to try to Morasan and third, mm -hmm. prepare a final report. Okay, excellent. Look at that, using have to, excellent. She knows that there are some obligations at the workplace. Very good. Thank you, Aide. Someone else? Alguien más? Aha, Brenda. Um, for events that next week, mm -hmm. I'm, um, I, I go visit my 
grandmother. Okay. And, and then I think I, I go out to the dinner with my friends. Okay, I will go out to have dinner with my friends. Excellent, Brenda, thank you very much. So we have there our examples, right, for this question, right? Let's continue, continuamos. We're gonna have here, right, another, this conversation. This conversation is between Peter and Henry, right? This conversation, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, let's see on the página está, right? This is on page 29, está en la página 29, page 29, right? If you wanna look at the book, that's when we have it. Page 29. Now we have Peter and Henry. Let's listen to me and then we're gonna practice, okay? Give me one moment. Okay, let's just start. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Right? So we have there the conversation. Pay attention to these pronunciations, okay? Hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. Now we have this conversation. I need one Peter. I think it's gonna be Marina. And Henry is going to be Jonathan Alexis. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the general conference? Uh, hi, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is the, uh, I don't remember teacher, delivering, delivering. Delivering. The, delivering the, representat the representation for the CEO next week. What's what? I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. So great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. About it. Okay. About it. Sounds great. Repeat, uh, so, Marina. Sounds great. great. Sounds great. Sounds. Sound. Sound. Sounds. Sounds. Very good. Now it's going to be right now. Aide, can you help me with Peter? And Maricela, you're going to be Henry. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference. 
his tears too. So I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO, CEO new week, next week? Guess what? I am I am representing in actor the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Very well, excellent. Now, Daniela, can you help me? Can you be Peter? And Cristela, thank you, Sandra, thank you, Aiden. Cristela, can you be Henry? Hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year to so. I see, but if, he, if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am, I am present time with Hector, the new account. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Sounds great, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now we have this conversation. We have some phrases there in bold that we can use right here. We can see them. Is attending the conference, is attending, is delivering, I am presenting, I am informing, representing, right? Different words that we can use, right, on our activities. Now we're going to see the present progressive, right? That's what we're gonna do right now. So I need you to pay attention because here in the book says that we're gonna use the present progressive only for activities for the future, okay? Pero le vamos a dar un poquito eh, más, okay? También para hablar, utilizar el presente progresivo para cosas que pasan al momento que hablamos o al momento que estamos escribiendo, right? That's what we're gonna use. Primero vamos a hacer el uso número uno. Use number one. We use the present continuous to talk about activities at the moment of speaking. For example, I'm just leaving work at this moment. I will be home in an hour. Please be quiet. The children are sleeping right now. Okay, now to be, to give more emphasis, right? Pueden ver la pantalla blanca ahorita? Yes. Okay. Present progressive. En algunos libros dice present continuous. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ninguna. Es lo mismo. Right? No se preocupen. So present progressive. Use number one. Right? To describe activities. Give me a moment. To describe activities that happen at the moment of speaking or writing. Right? That's the use. Esa es la función número uno. ¿Por qué lo voy a usar? ¿Para qué? ¿En qué momento de mi vida voy a usar presente progresivo? Pues para esto. Right? To describe activities that happen at the moment of speaking or writing, right? That's when we use it. Now, the structure of this, ya tenemos el uso. Ahora vamos a ver la estructura, structure, o la fórmula, como le dicen ustedes, right? What is the structure? Very easy. We're going to see the structure in affirmative, right? We're going to have the subject, right? Then we're going to have the bird to be. And then after the bird to be, we are going to have the bird 
with ing and then the complement. Right. Now, Silvia, what is this relajo? Okay, mucho relajo, no. Vamos a preocupar. Right, we're gonna have first, right here, it says subject. Right, subject. Then we're gonna have the verb. Then we're going to have here the verb with ing. And finally, we're gonna have here the complement, right? So, can you tell me, Katia, can you tell me the subjects that we use in English? What are the subjects that we use? You. You, uh -huh, okay, that's one. You. Are. Huh? I. I, uh huh. I, you, okay. Ya tenemos dos. ¿Cuál es otro, Katia? Mm, she. She. We. We, okay. We. What's another one? He. He, uh -huh. it. It. Nos falta uno. ¿Cuál es el que nos hace falta, chicos? They. They. Muy bien. Right? Nos hace falta they. Very good. And as you can see, I have divided the subjects. All right? So we have subjects. Right? Then the verb be. What are the conjugations of the verb be that I can use, Anna? What are the conjugations of the verb be? The combinations. I am, you are, we are, they the are. The conjugations, uh huh. Um, are, and you are. Um, are, and what's the other? Is. Is. Beautiful. Thank you so much. So I'm going to have am um, for I, right? Then we have are for you, we, and they. And then we have is for he, she, it. Okay, these are the conjugations that we are going to use. Right? Estas son las conjugaciones que nosotros vamos a utilizar para trabajar, right? So we have am para I am, right? You, we, and they, right? Para you are, we are, they are. And then we have is, she is, he is, right? That will be the verb. And then we have the verb with ing. Now, what happens with the present progressive? With the present progressive, the only verbs that we're going to use here are the verbs that we can use with an action, okay? So, for example, if I say drink, There is an action, right? So I can use the verb and I can say drinking. If I say, for example, call, there is an action. Right? ¿Por qué sabemos que podemos hacer una acción? Porque hacemos una mímica con nuestro cuerpo, right? Then we can make an action, right? If I say, for example, right. I am writing. I am calling. I am drinking. I am speaking, right? But I cannot use the verse that tells us feelings or emotions. Mm -mm. Usualmente, usually, recuérdense que significa usually. Usually, we do not use the verbs that express feelings or emotions. For example, I cannot say, I am loving you. That is incorrect. 
I am hating you. Mm -mm. Incorrect. Too. Right. I cannot say um, I am believing you. El verbo believe, creer. ¿Cómo harían ustedes una, una, una acción con su cuerpo para el verbo creer? Believe. No se puede. Believe or not believe. No, no se puede. Right? Entonces, aquellos verbos que nos digan, que, que nos describan emociones, que nos describan sentimientos, right? no los vamos a utilizar. Ay, no lo vamos a utilizar con el, el, el progresivo. Hay casos especiales. Ahí lo vamos a ir viendo en esta semana. ¿Okay? Pero como uso o regla general, como dijimos, generally or usually, no los utilizamos. ¿Ok? Those no. exam except, exceptions could be I am thinking. Thinking, yes. Pero hay una, una excepción para eso. Se puede utilizar thinking. I am thinking. Ese sí lo podemos utilizar. Right? Pero hay otros, por ejemplo, believe. Right? O remember. Recordar. Right? No puedo decir I am remembering. Uh -uh. It's incorrect. I remember. Right? Yo recuerdo. Right? So we need to be very careful. This is... Verbos de acción. ¿Qué verbo escogen? Díganme un verbo para escribirlo acá. Study. What? Study. Study. Miren qué bonito este verbo. Study. Lo vamos a poner en ING y las reglas del ING las vamos a ver mañana porque no quiero aturdir con tantas cosas. Right. Tengo study. ¿Qué hacemos con study? With study... Play, dice Verónica, thank you. Con study, vamos a eliminar la Y. Hay una y la agregamos el ING, ¿verdad? Y vamos a, en este caso, right? Así sería la regla, right? Que a la, le quitamos la, la, la Y. Pero no, hay reglas que nos dicen que en este caso nosotros vamos a mantener la Y, right? La vamos a mantener. ¿Por qué? Porque hay, hay en este caso, la regla nos dice, ok, mantengan por favor la Y. Y la pronunciación se hace un poquito más larga. Right? Entonces vamos a decir, está bien. Porque si nosotros le quitamos la Y, solamente quedaríamos así. Y la pronunciación sería algo así como, estudien. Así. Right? Pero se la vamos a mantener. Right? I am studying. You are studying. She is studying. Right? Entonces, aquí se la mantenemos. Right? Ahora, ¿qué es lo que, estoy, qué es lo que vemos acá? Right? That this study applies for I am, we are, she is. Lo que nos vamos a fijar acá es en la conjugación del verbo to be. Eso es lo que nos va a ayudar para saber de la tercera persona del singular. I am, are, and is. Right? El verbo, lo único que va a hacer el verbo es ayudarnos con la conjugación del ing. That's it. Right? Con eso nos va a ayudar el verbo. Right? Con la, que la conjugación esté bien hecha. Right? So, what are you studying? ¿Qué es lo que están estudiando? Agreguemos el complemento. Present progressive. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am studying grammar. Right. I am studying grammar. English grammar. Right. And then we have our question in positive. Right. We have our subject. Right. Ya tenemos nuestros sujetos. Right. We have our subjects. We have the verb to be. We have here also the verb with ing. And then we have the complement, right? We have the complement. Do you have questions at this moment? Teacher. Yes? 
no, no, no me queda claro por qué no le cambio el, la Y. O sea, yo le, iba a, yo le cambiaría la Y y creo que cometería ese error. No, no, no entiendo. Solo no se la quitamos. Esa es la regla. No se la Pero quitamos. ¿en cuál sí se la quito? Mañana vamos a ver las reglas. De ah. todos los verbos. <risa> sí, ah, para entonces que... por, según el verbo, así va a ser si, si le quito o no. Exactamente. Eh, hay una regla tal como la vimos en la regla de Simple Press. Te uh -huh. recuerdo que había unos verbos que se le quitábamos y otros que no. Entonces lo mismo pasa con esto. Ok. Sí. Pero para que no nos aturdamos, hoy vemos la estructura y mañana vemos lo de los verbos. Ok. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. What else? ¿Qué más? Uh -huh. ¿Entendemos este ejemplo? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? No hay preguntas, entendemos de todo hasta el momento. Entendemos el uso, entendemos la estructura. Esto es solo para afirmativas. Ok. What could be your example in this? ¿Cuál sería su ejemplo? Tell me an example. Tell me an example. Is there Spanish? Mm, I eating in this moment. I am eating. I am no. eating in this moment, yes. I am eating in this moment. Very good. What could be another one? I am driving. I am driving. Excellent. Like Very it. good. She is dancing. She is dancing. Perfect. What's another example? Right there? Marcela, Teresa. I am running. I am running. Very good. I am running. Excellent. Sandra? He is cooking. He is cooking. Okay, very good. He is cooking. Joanna? I am painting. I am painting. Very good. So we have different examples there. Can I continue? Will I continue? Yes, sí, una pregunta y el yes. verbo eh, o bueno, no el verbo watch, watching se podría. Sí. Watch. Watch. Ya. Yeah. Y, y, y sería watching. Watching. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Now we have here, right, the next formula for the verse, right. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla en blanco de nuevo? Yes. Yes. Okay. Muy bien. Now, the next formula or the next structure that we're going to use is going to be subject for negatives plus the verb be plus not plus the verb with ing plus the complement. That's it. Right? That would be the structure for negatives, right? For negatives. That's what we need to use, right? Para negativos, ¿qué estructura vamos a utilizar? This is still going to be the structure. So, what do we have? Subject, give me a subject, eh, Brenda. Give me a subject. Brenda. Brenda, ¿qué es eso, Brenda? Se me fue. Ay, se puede. Enciendan las cámaras, los van a arañar. Jonathan, Teresa, Jair, Juana, Edwin, Verónica. Enciendan las cámaras. Eh, Edwin. Edwin, yo Ok, encienda su cámara. Eh, Verónica, encienda su cámara. Alexis, encienda su cámara. Jair, Cristela. Ok, tell me a subject, Edwin. Eh, I. I, ok. 
Easy, easy peasy, right? We have I. Now tell me the verb B, the conjugation for I. In the verb I B, I am. Um, and then we use, we're gonna use not, right? Dígame una actividad que no está haciendo en estos momentos. Supervisar. <laughs> ah, okay. Supervise. Supervise. <laughs> Silvia, the ING. Look at this. This verb, we delete the E. We use ING. Supervising. I am not supervising. What? What are you not supervising? The production. The production. Look at this beautiful example. I am not supervising the production, right? So we have there the example for our sentence in negative, right? Then we go here with, besides we have positives, negatives, now let's make questions, okay? For the questions, para las preguntas, Vamos a traer de aquí, right, our structure. Vamos a traer la estructura de la positiva. Miren, for the structures. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla ahorita? Donde dice negatives? Yes. Ok, excelente. So we're going to write here questions. Questions. What are we doing in questions? Look at this. Very easy. Si en la positiva tenemos sujeto, verbo to be, verbo with ing y el complemento, lo único que vamos a hacer es mover el verbo to be al inicio. Eso es lo único. No vamos a hacer nada más fuera de control. ¿Ok? Verb be, plus subject, plus verb with ing, plus complement. Y desde luego, es una pregunta, ponemos el question mark. Right? Veamos un ejemplo. Ana, tell me, Ana, one subject. Uh -huh. Ana Valle. El gato de Ana Valle acaba de pasar ahí. Se pasa a usted. Fátima, tell me one subject. One subject, Mar Marcos. Marcos, okay. Marcos is he, right? So what is the, the conjugation for Marcos? Am, is, or are? Is. Is, right? We have is, Marcos. Now give me a verb with ing, Fatima. Sleeping. Is sleeping. Is Marcus sleeping where? In the car. In the car. Is Marcus sleeping in the car? Right? Very good. Is Marcus sleeping in the car? And then we have short answers. Right, for this, yes, he is, no, he isn't. That's what we're gonna do. Yes, he is, no, he isn't, right? That's what we have right now for our explanation for positives, negative questions and short answers. Estas son preguntas de sí y de no, okay? No son preguntas con WH. Ahorita vamos, estamos viendo solamente estas. Preguntas de sí y no que se pueden responder con un simple yes, he is, no, he isn't. Right? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de estas estructuras? Véanlas, por favor. Díganme si las entienden o no las entienden. Take a look at them, please. Tell me if you understand them or not. Yes, we understand them. You understand them, Alexis. Okay, very good. What about the others? 
Okay. Okay, perfect. Everyone says yes. So we're gonna do right now one more thing. What happens here when we have, in this case, we have the present progressive, right? And we're going to share, right, the questions. There, we have the sentences, we have the questions, we have the answers. There are some words that we use most of the time, right? To emphasize that we are talking about this moment. Uh, recuerden que ahorita estamos describiendo actividades que pasan en el momento que hablamos, okay? This is, we have some few words or time, vamos a ponerle time words that we could use. For example, now, ahora, right now, ya, 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 ahorita, right, at this moment, sorry, at this moment, uy, at this moment, right, in the present, right, these are phrases that we can use right, when we're talking about activities that are happening now. So I can say, I am speaking English right now. I am speaking English at this moment. I am speaking English in the present. I am speaking English now. Okay, son palabritas que debemos utilizar si queremos hacer más énfasis, right? acerca de en qué momento se está realizan, realizando la actividad o la acción. ¿Sí? ¿Se entiende en este caso lo que estamos haciendo? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So if we understand, let's continue. Right? Now, déjeme pasar lista antes de continuar. Voy a quitar esto de acá. Okay, we're going to make examples later on. Analisa Valle de Molina. Presente. Brenda Yamilet Estrada. Presente. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente. Thank you. Jair Adonis Martín Molina. Presente. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente. Juan Cristela Euseda García. Presente. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Presente. Thank you. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Soto. Cepeda Alfaro. I'm here. Santos Alberto Chica Juárez. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente, teacher. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Presente. Thank you very much. So now we're going to continue here with the practice. I want you to look at this. Ya me entendieron, entonces vamos a hacer una práctica chiquitita, right? Bueno, vamos a practicar un montón, así que para que les miente, right? We're going to start with this. Look at this. They are having examples here. I want you to look at them. Right? And it says here, my goodness. Pueden ver la PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Give me a moment. Permítame, la voy a quitar un momento. Okay. 
Okay. Can you see the PowerPoint right now? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now, in this PowerPoint we have there, the activity that says, what is she doing, right? This is a question that we can say, what are you doing? What am I doing? What is he doing? What are they doing, right? What are you doing? So we have here in the practice, right? We have, for example, she is sleeping. She is in Los Angeles. It is 4 a.m., right? What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. She is sleeping right now. It's 4 a.m., right? What is Marcus doing? What's Marcus doing? It's 6 a.m. So, oh, he's getting up. Right? He's oh, getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sus and Tom doing? What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. They are having breakfast. Right? What other activities can we add? ¿Qué otra actividad podríamos agregar acá? Mm -hmm. No? Uh, Soy and Tom mm -hmm. are talking. Sue and Tom are talking. Very good, Sandra. Sue and Tom are talking. Very good. What other activity can we have for Victoria and Marcos? Mm -hmm. From Victoria? They are she, eating. Okay, for Victoria, what? Uh, she dreaming. She is dreaming. Yes, very good. She is dreaming. What do you say, Karen, about Sue and Tom? Karen? Perdón, teacher. ¿Qué más me dijo de Sue and Tom? No, no, no. Si yo a ti estoy pensando. I think, teacher. Ok. I'm sorry. What, what other say, what other thing can you say about Victoria and Marquez? Or Sue and Tom. ¿Qué más pueden decir de ellos? Ahí tenemos, ejem Uy. Ahí tenemos ejemplos, right? Pero ¿qué más sería Zoom and Tom talking. Sue and Tom are talking. Uh, are talking. Are talking, okay. Zoo and Tom are talking. Just like that. Marcos is sleeping. Marcos is sleeping. No, Marcos is getting up. Oh, but have a, no. Having. Uh -huh. Maybe resting. No, como puede ser tired. No, pero es que esa, ese verbo no, porque no. Ese es adjetivo. Tired es adjetivo. Ajá. Teacher. Yes, Brenda. Pudiera ser eh, Marcos is stretching. Is stretching. Very good. Stretch. Marcos is stretching. Right. Marcos is stretching. Very good. Stretching. Just estirando, Marcos. ¿Cómo se eso? Stretching. Let me put it here. One moment. In the chat, or Marco is jogging. Marcus is jogging. Okay, very good. We have examples there of what they are doing, right? Oh, Johnny, 
Sí, porque no está corriendo, fíjense. Sería Johnny. Yo creo que esto me quise decir. Oh, right? Johnny. Marcus is Johnny. Oh, cuando abrimos así la boca porque tenemos sueño. Johnny. Very good. John. Very good. Ahí está en el chat. Veanlos en el chat las palabras. Johnny, con, con N, con N. Con N, Ana. Después de la W va una N. Ahí arriba le escribí. Johnny. Very good. Thank you, Ana. Now, what are we doing? I'm going to show you more activities. Te voy a mostrar más actividades. Igualitas a esas que han hecho Marcos y... Eh, su victoria, todos, ok. Déjenme les muestro. Vamos a ver si quiere mostrar pantalla completa. Ok. Ok, yes. Ok, what I want you to do right now is that I want you to take a, take a screenshot of this. You already have the questions. Ahí ustedes ya tienen las preguntas. Pueden ver la parte de abajo de, la, de, las, de las preguntas, de la imagen. Yes, teacher. Donde dice Hirochi, Fernsa. Ok. It says here we have Celia, Jim and Anne, Andre, Fernsa, Hiroshi, and you. Ok. What are you doing? What are you doing at 9.05? Okay. For each picture, we have six pictures. For each picture, you are going to write two activities that they are doing based on the picture. So you have to look at the picture and think about two possible activities. Okay. Van a ver las imágenes y van a escribir posibles actividades right, que ellos estén haciendo con base en las imágenes. Okay? ¿Qué pueden ver que están haciendo las imágenes? Uf, many things. Right? Podemos escribir muchas oraciones acerca de cada una de las imágenes, pero solamente vamos a escribir dos ejemplos. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar? Of course, we're using present progressive. Right? Vamos a utilizar present progressive. Now, I want you to look at them. ¿Ya tomaron captura de pantalla? No, teacher. No, teacher. Tomen captura, por favor. ¿Me avisa cuando tomen captura para poder continuar? Ya, teacher. Ok. ¿Los demás? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Reading. Okay. Now we're going to continue right now. Vamos a hacer estos ejemplos. Los vamos a hacer en equipo. Por favor, no se salgan de los grupos. Trabajen con sus compañeros. Ya he visto grupos que solo están ahí, se están viendo, pero no participan ni nada. Por favor, participen, porque para eso hacemos estos grupos. Okay? Si no, voy a hacer solo yo hablando a cada rato. Right? Y eso no tiene sentido. So please participate. So, déjeme un momentito, vamos a ver acá. Ok. Se me fueron dos de un solo, mira, de ella. No le gusta participar. Let's start. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jonathan, ¿hay de? ¿Pueden darle clic a su, a su invitación, por favor? Gracias. Jonathan.
What is the weather? Do you have questions? ¿Tienen preguntas? Where's we are studying now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me avisa, me, me, me manda un mensaje si tienen preguntas, porque voy para el otro equipo. Okay. 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 Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Maya, she's walking. Walking, walking in the office. Porque no sé cuántas tenemos que hacer. Yo digo que hagamos una y una por cada una y si nos da segunda ronda lo hacemos. Chivo. Vaya, what Celia doing? Number two. What are Jim and I'm doing? Mira, pero verdad que no, en eso sería Celia is walking in the office. Yes. Or she is walking in the office. In the office. What are Jim and Anna doing? What are... They are in a meeting. Mm -hmm. Sí, está bueno. Okay. Pero ahí se cumple lo del present progressive. They are in a meeting. No, vea. They are talking. Sí, mejor. Sí, porque lo, en la anterior no, no cumplían con el. No. Uh -huh. O they, they, they are they oh, are talking yeah. about about work. Uh -huh. Talking. What it, what's Andre doing? Eh, reading a, a, a letter. Mm -hmm. He's reading a letter. Bank. Mm -hmm. He's working in the bank. In the bank. Mm -hmm. Ahora con... Ese es casi el mismo ejemplo, ¿verdad? Que nos dio que están... Comiendo, ¿verdad? What are Jim and I'm doing? Y este el noon es Hello Los cuatro Decía que la primera masa dice que tal vez se contestaba dura. Encima la otra masa y nada más va a lo mismo problema, ¿eh? Ya la vimos. Al cortador le cambiamos el cortador. Ya la voy a ver. Están trabajando, Edwin. Yes, teacher. Ya terminaron. ¿Ah? No, teacher. Teacher no, yo estoy en mi trabajo, teacher. Pero tiene que informarle a Sandra, porque si no, ella está sola y no puede trabajar. Va a estar de oyente. Sí, se puede, teacher. 
Porque necesito que Sandra también participe. Te voy a mandar a Sandra a otro equipo. Ok. Colabóreme, Edwin, colabóreme. No es que yo quiera, teacher, lo que pasa es que estoy en trabajo. No colabóreme en decirme, Lady, porque no sé. Sandra, ahí va para otro equipo. Ok, teacher. Acepte ahí la invitación. Ahorita. Usted también, eh, Leonel, va para otro equipo. Con Daniela y conmigo, Ana. Okay. Sí, les mando a Sandra, yo sé que ya ustedes ya van avanzadas, pero para que ella vea por lo menos los últimos dos ejemplos de la práctica. ¿Ok? Bueno, si gusta, Dani, le leemos una, un ejemplo a ella, a cada una. Porque ya lo hicimos. Ya lo hicieron todos. Sí, si quiere, Dani, comienza usted. Sí. Ah, bueno, no, que son, son, no son sangles, son glassware. Sí, este. Is using clay. Ok. Espérame, espérame. He, he is using. Using glass. Glasses, vean. Glass, ajá. Falta uh -huh. una, ¿verdad? Podríamos poner que él está pensando. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. He is. Thinking, ¿verdad? No, ¿cómo es pensar? Ay, thinking. Sí, claro. sí, think, think, pero como está en tiempo presente, con, y no tiene, progresivo, perdón, tiene que ser thinking. Ajá. Think, thinking. Thinking, cabal. Thinking. About Moscú. About Moscú. Ajá. About, ajá. Moscú. Ok. Estamos con ellos. Ahora vamos. Nos con, es, con el chico este que está cenando. Sería mm. sí. Ajá. Ahí podemos poner cabal que está eh, probando la comida, que está disfrutando, se ve como contento. Ajá. Pero vamos como a... de, de sentimientos no puede ser, solo de acción. Ah, no, 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 no por eso, Ajá. pero digamos, se ve como contento, significa que está disfrutando la comida. Entonces, puede poner he's sí. enjoying. Ajá. Enjoying. Ajá. Talking. 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 Ajá. Talking with you. Doble <risa> <risa> N. Planning. Yeah, he is planning. Planning. The travel. <laughs> The trip. The trip. Huh? The trip. Ah, the trip. Uh -huh. Trip. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. Hoy vamos con la otra squad. Persa, creo que es. Persa, Persa, doing. El sí, mire, está cenando porque son las 7 pm. ¿Verdad? Mm, sí. Entonces sería, he is. He is. Oh, ah, pero sería tomando la cena, taking the dinner, sí. Having dinner. Having. Having. Ah. Having dinner. Having. having dinner or having the dinner? Having dinner. Having dinner. Mm -hmm. Ah, solo así. Uh, having dinner. Ajá. Seven p.m. Y la otra de él sería Is Ay, no sé si decir probando diferentes menús. <ríe> ok. Trying different menus. Trying. Mm -hmm. Trying. 
different menus. Menus, así como se oye. Menús. Y se pronuncia menus. 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 Try, trying, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Trying. 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 Vaya. <coughs> y la otra. Wax. Hiroshi. Ya nos queda un minuto, ¿ok? Sí, señor Jesús. Ok. okay. He's uh, starting. Ay, sí. Así pongamos esta. <laughs> Esta vez. Muy bien. Sí. Sí. Eh, viendo la computer sería. Is... Watching. Va a querer... Watching podemos poner va. Watching the computer. Mm -hmm. The computer. The computer. In, in Tokyo. <laughs> Ay, no. La última es ¿Qué estás haciendo? Eso creo que es de nosotros ah, ah, yes. ah, ¿Qué sería? We, we are Studying <laughs> Nosotras Ok, so, can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Perfect. So, we're going to do right here, right, our examples, ok? I have some answers for this, but you are going to give me your own answers. Yo ya tengo unas respuestas por acá, pero ustedes me van a dar sus propias respuestas, right? That's what we're going to do at this moment right now let me show you okay these are the phrases right estas son las frases que todos tenemos right and let's listen to some examples we're going to listen to Fatima. What's Celia doing? Um, Celia is saying hello to her classmates. Okay. Celia is saying hello to, to her, her classmates. Classmate. Okay, that's perfect. Very good. Marina, what is Celia doing? Uh, She's arriving, the arriving a bank. Arriving to the bank. To the bank. She's arriving to the bank. Very good, Marina. Anna, what are Jim and Anne doing? One, two, one, two. They, they, are, take, they are talking about work. They are talking about work. Very good. Anna, they are talking about work. Very good. Uh, Brenda, what are Jim and Anne doing? Um, they are eating for, uh, for them uh, lunch. Okay, they are eating lunch. Repeat. They are eating lunch. They are eating lunch. Perfect. Thank you so much, Brenda. Daniela, what's Andre doing? Andre is reading a letter. Andre is reading a letter. He's in Moscow. You see? Very good. Uh, Pat you know, Fatima, I did. What's Andre doing? Aide de la Paz. Andre is reading a newspaper in Moscow. In Moscow. Very good. Moscow. 
Moscow. Very good. Andre is reading the newspaper in Moscow. Very good uh, idea. Jair, what are Jim and Anne doing? London, noon. Adonis. Hi, teacher. <laughs> what are Jim and Anne Perfect. doing? Jim, Jim and Anne is they. Mm -hmm. They are talking about work. They are talking about work. Okay, very good. They are talking about work. Thank you. Hi, let's see, Karen. What is Permsat doing in Bangkok? He is have a seria eating diner at 7 p.m. Okay, again. Start again. He is. Eating the diner at 7 p.m. Okay, he is eating dinner. Repeat. Okay, he is eating dinner. Dinner at 7 p.m. Very good. But we're going to say it is 7 p.m. It is 7 p.m. Comma. He is eating dinner. Right, very good. Now let's continue with Jonathan Alexis. What is Permsac doing? Wait a minute. So, Sac uh, is the Mirochi, perdón, or Permsac doing? Uh, ah, Permsac. Ah, okay. Um, kiss and now you in the food. He's enjoying the food. He's enjoying the food. He's enjoying the food. Very good, Jonathan. Él está disfrutando de su comida. Enjoying. Very good. Juana Cristela, what's Hiroshi doing? What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching his computer. He's watching his computer. Very good. He's watching his computer. Maybe he's watching Netflix. Let's see Katia Carolina. What's Hiroshi doing? He is studying at 9 p.m. He's studying at 9 p.m. Okay. It's, it is 9 p.m. He is studying. Right? Very good. Maricela, what do you have for Hiroshi? Hiroshi, he is working on the report. He is working on the report. Okay, very good. He is working on the report. And Brenda, what are you doing? Uh, I, I am studying English right now. I am studying English right now. Perfect, Brenda. Thank you so much. What are you doing, Veronica? I am eating dinner. Okay. Right now, that's all time. Okay. <laughs> I am <laughs> eating dinner. Very good, Veronica. Um, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Marina, what are you doing? I listening. Se puede decir así. Yeah, I am listening. listening. The class. I am listening to the class. To the class. Very good. And finally, Daniela, what are you doing? Daniela Ramos? Yes. What are you doing? I'm doing English exercises. I'm doing English, English exercises. exercises. Doing, okay, very good. Now, we have this. We have almost the same examples. Look at this, right? 
Celia, what is Celia doing? She's going to work. Estos son otros ejemplos, ¿ok? What are Jim and Ann doing? Yes, Sandra. Eh, y she, um, Celia, she is arriving at work. This She's arriving correct. to work. To work. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome. Then we have it's noon, so they are eating lunch. Andre is working. Permsak is eating dinner right now. Hiroshi is checking his email. And I am teaching English, right? Different examples, todos sus ejemplos también, okay? Estas son otras opciones. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No? Okay. Let's continue. I have this. Well, let's go ahead and do the following instead. Vamos a hacer esto. Look at this. Is this present progressive or present continuous? Ya les dije que es lo mismo. Right? It says present continuous with future meaning. Look at this. It says here, what are you doing after school? Hmm. I am buying ticket for Saturday's match, right? I am buying tickets for Saturday match. We use the present continuous or present progressive to talk about fixed arrangements in the near future, right? Utilizamos el presente progresivo o el presente continuo para describir actividades que ya están estipuladas en el futuro cercano. Right, in the near future. No para actividades que vamos a planear el próximo año, sino que para actividades que se van a hacer en un periodo corto de tiempo. Right? Por ejemplo acá, What are you doing after school? I am buying tickets for Saturday match. Right? We have a small conversation there expressing the future. Right? Now, what are we going to do? But Silvia, how can I know if it's the future? Right? In this case, the structure for the future is the same, okay? La estructura es la misma, right? The only thing that is going to help us to understand that we're talking about present progressive with future meaning is lo siguiente. The only thing that you need to know is the phrases, time phrases. Las time phrases nos van a ayudar a decidir o a decir, oh, ok, es presente progresivo, pero con significado o con propósito de hablar del futuro. Time phrases that express future. Tomorrow. What's another time frame that I can use? ¿Qué otra palabra me dice a mí que estoy hablando del futuro? After. ¿Ninguna? ¿Ah? After. 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 Ok. After, After the class. Después de la clase, por ejemplo. At night. What? At uh -huh. night. At night. Ok. At night. Afternoon. In the afternoon. What do you say in English, pasado mañana? The day after tomorrow. Pasado mañana. The day after tomorrow. Here in the afternoon, we can say tomorrow in the afternoon. Right? Tomorrow in the afternoon. Later in the afternoon. Más tarde. Later in the afternoon. También podemos utilizar esa frase. Right, later in the afternoon, later at night, right, later at, right, later at night, tomorrow at night. Podemos utilizarla también, right. ¿Qué otra frase podemos utilizar para el futuro? Next week. Next week, very good. We can say in Christmas, cuando sabemos que, que Navidad, Va a estar en el futuro, right, in Christmas, or next Christmas, right, we can say that too, 
in Christmas or next Christmas, right? So, this type of, esas no son todas las frases, claro que no, son ejemplos, right? What do we have in the chat? It says, going to or will. No, no estamos hablando de going to. En estos momentos estamos hablando del present progressive. ¿Cuál era la estructura del present progressive que acabamos de ver, Jair? ¿Qué es lo que escribimos en, al inicio? Subject. Uh, the subject plus verb to be plus verb in progressive plus complement. Verb in ing plus complement. Entonces, en este complemento, Jair, nosotros vamos a incluir nuestras frases de tiempo. ¿okay? Las frases de tiempo nos van a decir que estamos utilizando el presente progresivo con significado de actividades del futuro. ¿okay? No estamos hablando de going to, porque going to es el futuro simple. Ya es el futuro simple. Will ya es el futuro también. Entonces, no estamos utilizando el futuro. Estamos utilizando el presente progresivo con significado de futuro. Right? Entonces, yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, I am, I am cooking chicken for tomorrow's lunch. Es cierto, chicos. I am cooking chicken for tomorrow's lunch. I am using subject, verbi, bear with ing, and my complement. Dentro de este complemento, ¿cuál es la frase de tiempo que me dice que vas, que es presente progresivo con futuro, con significado de futuro? Cooking is mm -hmm. the present and the chicken for tomorrow. No, ¿cuál es la frase? ¿Cuál es la frase que a mí me dice, ok, esa oración significa eh, tomorrow. future with simple meaning? Tomorrow's lunch. For tomorrow's lunch. Ahí me dice, ah, ok. Eso va, esa actividad que va a hacer Silvia va a pasar en el futuro, no ahorita. No está pasando ahorita. Es, va a pasar en el futuro. ¿Qué otro ejemplo podría poner? Ok. Oh. I am. I am checking the platform after the class, right? So I'm not going to check the platform right now, no lo estoy revisando ahorita, sino que después de clase, after the class, right? Me dice que voy a hacer esa acción en el futuro, en el futuro cercano, que es después de nuestra clase, right? Entendemos el, el presente progresivo con futuro, con future meaning, ¿Tiene okay. preguntas? Eh, to, to be easy, we have to practice, I think. Yes, you think right. No hay forma de ser más, eh, más perfecto en esta actividad que es practicando. Por eso hacemos bastante ejercicio. ¿Tienen otras preguntas? No hay preguntas entonces. Entendemos Yo todo perfecto. ¿Cuál Yo es su una. pregunta? Uh -huh. ¿Hasta dónde llega el alcance? Del, del tiempo que usted está mencionando, vaya, porque es un tiempo eh, futuro, pero mm, cercano, vamos así. Sí. Digamos, next week, next month, podría uh -huh. ser. Sí. Next year. No. Next, next, year. next year, podríamos utilizarlo, pero yeah. yo preferiría uh -huh. utilizar el, el futuro going to que mencionaba eh, Jair. 
ya cuando estamos hablando de, de, de años. Okay. Sí, porque ya son actividades que van a tener evidencia de lo que vamos a hacer. Podríamos decir, I am, I am buying a new house next year, pero como ya sabemos que es algo que vamos a hacer, ya hemos recogido dinero para hacerlo, I am going to buy a new house next year. Entonces preferiría utilizar el futuro con going to, porque es algo que sí se va a utilizar. Pero no nos vamos a meter al going to en estos momentos. Ajá, eso le iba a preguntar, eso no, no. lo hemos visto. No, ni lo vamos a ver en el, en el nivel 2. Ahorita nos vamos a quedar con presente progresivo y el simple present. Por el momento. Ya después sí. Nos vamos a dar gusto. Ok, ¿alguna otra pregunta? Bueno, se supone que no tenemos preguntas, vamos a practicar entonces. Ahora sí vamos a hacer los ejercicios que teníamos acá. Right. So we can work together. We have this for example. Can you see here? This is an example that is on the book, right? This is on the book. This is on page 30. Está en la página 30 del libro. Vámonos a la página 30. I'm going to show you here page 30. On page 30, we have also the structure, right? Aquí, por favor, me le quitan donde dice gerund. Porque en realidad no es un gerund. Okay, quítenme esa palabrita, táchenla porque está mal. Esta palabrita que está aquí, táchenla con corrector, con marcador, con lo que quieran, quítense. Eso no está correcto. Right? And then we says here the examples, I am meeting the interns tomorrow. This action will take place in the future, right? Say, we're gonna do it tomorrow, right? And then says, what time is Maria interview with the people? She's interviewing them at 5 p.m. I am writing the report next week. Nice, and I am sending I am sending it as soon as you finish. As soon as, tan pronto como. As soon as, tan pronto como. Right? Entonces, esta es la explicación que ya nosotros vimos para el, pre el presente continuo. Lo único que nosotros hemos visto también, además del presente continuo, para eventos del futuro, también lo hemos visto para actividades que van a pasar o que están pasando en este momento. Hemos visto dos significados, chicos y chicas. Right, so let's go ahead and do the exercise. Exercise four. Para yes. identificarlo, we only have to pay attention in the context. Póngale atención a las frases de tiempo. Tomorrow, next week. Si dice tomorrow, next week, ya sabemos que es con futuro. Mm -hmm. Okay, now these examples are for the future. All of them. Todos estos ejemplos que están acá en el ejercicio 4 son del futuro. Right? Creo que Ana ya terminó. Daniela también. Right? Let's check. El primero ya está hecho. Right? Es de ponerles en orden. José is receiving the new workers tomorrow.
Tell me when you finish. Did you finish? No teacher. No teacher. I'm finished. You're finished. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Finish. Excellent. Thank you very much. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's check the answers then. I have a question. Yes. La, las time phrases pueden ir al inicio. Some of them, yes. Some of them, not. Some of them, yes. The ones that we put here, los ejemplos que pusimos acá, sí pueden ir al, al final. Right? Okay. okay. Y, y en la segunda. Yes, but uh, one thing. One thing. Eh, como les decía al inicio, acá la mayoría tiene the next week, da, da, da. Ese da aquí no va. En inglés no decimos la, la próxima semana. Sino que cuando decimos next week, ya estamos refiriéndonos a la próxima semana. Entonces, ese da está de más. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Porque eso lo tenemos bastante los salvadoreños, que todos le ponemos la, el, y entonces yo puedo decir la y de. ¿verdad? Pero en, <ríe> en inglés no le van a decir de a y de, a menos que lean un libro. ¿verdad? No es correcto. <ríe> no es correcto. Entonces, por ejemplo, cuando decimos... Eh, me preguntaba alguien en un grupo in the dinner right no. in the dinner no at dinner perdón at dinner me decían at the dinner no at dinner uh -huh. en la cena okay. en la, esta frase estas dos palabritas ya nosotros las interpre, interpretamos como en la cena la cena okay. en la cena uh -huh. so I I can understand that the letters Well, to the next week. Pero ya vamos a ver la respuesta. ¿Cuál es la que tiene seis número dos? Lea. Así two. como la tiene. Ajá. Mark is sending the letters ne next week. Mark is sending the letters next week. Yeah. That's correct. Ya estuvo, tipo. La ¿Sí? tarea. Perfecto. Sí, ya estuvo. La revisó, papá. Pero estaba bien todo. ¿Me entendiste lo que digo? <laughs> ok. Now we're going we're gonna to have number three. Who wants to do number three? ¿Quién quiere hacer número tres? Uh -huh. Me. 
Yes. James is working on the reports tonight. James is working on the reports on the reports tonight. That is correct. Jane is working on the reports tonight. Let's see number four. ¿Qué quiere ser número cuatro? Me, teacher. Okay, Marina. Walter is singing the check today. Walter is signing. Signing. Yes, Walter is signing the checks Today. Signing. Signing. Como es, teacher? Signing. Signing. You know what is signing? Signing. No, teacher. For example, right now, I am going to make my signature on the, on the computer. I am signing uh, okay. the screen. Right? Uh, copiar. Right. Okay. No solo rela. Now I am signing. Signing is firmar. Right. Very good. Number five. Who's going to do number five? Marina, ¿quieres hacer de mal? No, ya hice el de igual. <laughs> number pero five. Puedo, pero puedo, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. María is. Marina, uh, Maria, Maria. <laughs> Maria is organizing the mm -hmm. represent the representation the presentation the presentation in the afternoon in the afternoon. Maria is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Very good. And who wants to do number six? Uh huh. Yo. Okay. Thank you, Aide. Um, Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Y miren, este going to no me lo van a confundir con el, eh, con el de futuro. ¿Ok? Porque después de tú no tenemos ningún verbo, sino que tenemos un lugar. Entonces solamente es progresivo. ¿Ok? Antes que me pregunten. Okay. Sabía que me iban a preguntar. Okay. So we have the answers here for this first exercise. Do you have questions? <coughs> ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de ejercicio? Fácil, ¿verdad? No, teacher. ¿Ok? No fácil o no tienen preguntas? <laughs> no questions. No questions, okay. Let's continue then. I'm going to show you another exercise. Quedan todavía ocho minutos. Podemos hacer mucho más en ocho minutos. We have this exercise right here. Here, what we're doing right now is that we're going to put the phrases together, okay? We have these phrases here. I'm going to move them a little bit. Right. Este no está en su, en su libro. Okay. Este lo tengo yo. I'm going to put them here. Para que se vean mejor. Right. And we have the exercises. I'm feeling sick. Ray's taking a shower at the moment. I'm leaving the office now. I'm having problems with my car today. I'm trying to do my homework. We're just eating dinner. Okay. Then we have, will you please be quiet? Can I phone you later? Estamos en el teléfono hablando. Could you stop the car, please? On the phone, can I take a message? Is it okay if we take a taxi? On the phone, would you start cooking the dinner? Right. We have there the questions and the information, we're gonna put them together. For example, it says, will you please be quiet? What is the first one? 
¿Cuál es la primera parte de esta, de esta oración? Will you please be quiet? I'm trying to do my homework. I'm trying to do my homework. Excellent. Very good. I'm trying to do my homework. Very good. Ahora pongámoslas todas juntas. Vamos. <coughs> Did you finish? Okay. Okay. Do you have some answers? ¿Se entiende lo que están trabajando? Sí, teacher. Sí, okay. Okay, now we're going to see, we're going to do the following. We're going to see the answers for that exercise tomorrow. Y vamos a ver las la respuestas de ejercicio de ese ejercicio mañana. Por favor, trabajenlas. Right. Voy a pasar asistencia porque nos queda un minuto apenas y no nos habíamos fijado. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Good evening. Brenda Yamilet Estrada. Presente. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente, Ticha. Aida Donis Martir Molina. Presente, Ticha. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente, Ticha. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Presente. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. 
Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Presente. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente. Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Presente. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Presente. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. ¿Ok? Presente. You're welcome. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Verónica. Now we finish here. Today is the 20th of September. So we're going to stay with Juana Cristela and then the other ones. You have a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Hola, Ide. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? <ríe> ok. <ríe> bye, bye. <ríe> No le escucho. Estoy haciendo tarea con el niño, le digo, ay, está ahorita. Ah, con razón. Está sí. aquí, está allá. Bye. Nos vemos entonces, teacher. Bye, pase buenas noches. Adiós.